fine summer's morning, HMS Dinghy landed by a small patch of land known as Maneater Island. The king had dispatched it to find a rare plant known as the giant fly guzzler, native to the island. Famous for eating flies whole, the king was keen to have such a plant for keeping nuisance blue bottles away while he drank orange squash in the royal gardens. However, Sid had barely set foot on the beach when he made a rather shocking discovery. Not only did the fly guzzler eat flies, it seemed it also enjoyed the odd sailor. After fighting himself free of the ferocious plant, Sid devised a plan. He instructed Cracker to fly high overhead and drop a net on the oversized weed. Unfortunately, this failed miserably. Deciding he needed to be more aggressive, Sid realised if he couldn't catch the guzzler, maybe he could crush it. <laughs> Rather down with his progress, Sid sat in the shade of a coconut tree. Then Sid had a brainwave. With some card and a spot of paint, he disguised several coconuts as very large flies. Catapulting them at the oversized weed, it swallowed them whole at a frantic pace. Eventually, after several dozen coconuts, it was so stuffed it could do nothing else but give a very loud burp and fall asleep. Snoring very loudly, it was dragged back to the ship, which promptly set sail for Britain. On its return, the king was delighted. He could now drink his orange squash safe from Newson's blue bottles. Of course, the only problem was everything else the oversized weed ate. Two royal gardeners, four of the king's guardsmen, a court jester, two butlers, the prime minister's wife...